here again working on the 73 Bronco. It's been blocked out, wiped down, washed, and been sitting for a couple days while we're getting the paint. Should be in here tomorrow. We'll try to get this over into the booth but uh, tonight and then come in the morning and spray it. But for now, basically, we're just going to back tape everything that needs to be painted. So, or does not need to be painted. So we'll tape off in, you know, like here, the bottom of the car, which will 36 down and back tape all this little holes and stuff. So we're not blowing color. Try to keep all our paint on the engine compartment, the firewall, the window frame, and then the quarters. Also, we will do the door doors and the, put the doors in there. They're hanging ready to go. I'm just going to back tape up some of these holes so we're not... Basically, what I'm trying to do is keep the dirt that's inside the doors and inside the rockers and whatnot on the body from blowing back out into my paint and get it sealed up nice and tight. And we want to leave the bottom of that black. It's all uh, epoxied. So. And then same thing on the fenders inside of here. Nice and black. And just paint the outside basically where there's primer. That's kind of the idea we're going for. Uh, not same thing on the doors. We'll just get this all... Basically, we'll get this all back taped, wiped down, prepped. Tomorrow we'll tack it and then start spraying. So today we'll go ahead and get this taped up and then uh, finish taping this up and then. All right, back here on a Saturday. Got this thing pretty taped up last night. And so we're gonna clean this thing up with some Wax and grease mover really well. Finished taping it. We didn't get to the doors last night. It started getting late. Lower this down on the rotisserie. Clean it. Tack it. Make some epoxy. Put a, or a, a primer sealer. Some primer sealer on this thing. Seal it up. Let that flash for a while. And then come back and hit it with uh, our base. And our and hopefully get it cleared today. At least that's the plan. So see if we can't get this done. It's a Brittany blue. Kind of an earlier.
couple more times with 800 and wax and grease remover, it won't mess up the base. We we'll wipe it down and attack it, and then I'll spray another light coat on there. We'll try to come back and spray a couple more coats on here just to kind of get some of these light spots covered, and then uh, go ahead and do a nice wet coat over it. That's one coat down, so we got a couple more to go, so that's what we're going to keep working on it. Suit, but we got the thing wet sanded down, uh, re -sh uh, shot at base, and we're going on to clear. I'm giving that a few minutes 20 minutes or so to kind of flash off, and then we're mixing up our clear right now. And for our clear, we're using a how uh, Galazer 923109 high solid clear, which is a very good product. Someone and that's a two to one, so we're going to mix up we'll go two, which is 32 ounces, and then I'll bust out one of the activators which will be up to three which will be just over 48 ounces so we'll do that and if i need more we'll mix it up which i'm pretty sure we're going to but i haven't shot this clear in a really long time i know i've shot some glasses before so that's where we're going to mix that and then i'll get it in the gun get a couple more minutes to flash off and we'll go back to painting all right before we clear we're going to run in here and take a look at this where we had wet sanded it down in little chunks i believe it might have been in the sealer Inside. 
inside there and out. Out pretty clean considering. Got a little 15, maybe 2,000 wet sand and polish on the fenders and doors. what they gotta do so we'll go to the other side of the shop back over to my hole and uh call this a wrap for today if you like this video this type of stuff give us a like and subscribe remember create something today even if it sucks Peace.